Hello and welcome to Massland Presents The Show with me, Denise Van Outen. It's May, spring bank holidays at the end of the month, the kids are sitting exams and you're trying to get the house clean and still make sure you spend some quality time with your other half. Want to know how to fit it all in? You've come to the right place. Coming up, TV stars Alicia Dixon and Andrea McLean share their tips on juggling work and family while still looking fabulous. Well, thanks, Denise. Looking good. <laughs> Plus, inspiration for stylish bank holiday weekends away with your other half and al fresco dining for all the family. We'd love to hear what you've got planned for the bank holiday at the end of the month, whether it's a weekend away or spending time at home with the family. Tweet us at Matalan. Right, listen up all you mums out there. However much we love our children and family, it's also important to have a bit of me time. It's time to make time for you. It's the time of the year when mums everywhere are trying to juggle kids' half-term bank holiday plans, as well as friends and relatives turning up on your doorstep. But in all of this, how do us mums find time for ourselves and still manage to look good? Two ladies who can help us are Alicia Dixon and Andrea McLean. Ladies, you do Hi. always look good. And you're so we busy. We have help with that, though. <laughs> no, but you do. Like, you work hard, you're mums, yes, and you're always yeah. out and about doing things. How do you sort of fit everything in? You just have to learn to be really quick at getting ready. You know what I mean? Because it's just such a juggling act. And obviously your children come first. So for me, it's just a case of time management. Definitely. And also having help. That's yeah. the only way to do and, it. And multitasking. I think if mm. you can find something that you really enjoy doing that actually incorporates a bit of you time. I actually like going to the gym. Not because I'm necessarily doing anything that's really hard, but if I, I feel like I can say, I'm just going to the gym, and everyone goes, isn't she great? <laughs> I can be doing hardly anything in there, yeah. but it's an hour to myself. Well, this is, it, it is finding me time, but I'm mm. sure with Andrea, your children are a little bit older now, aren't yeah. they? Older than Alicia's, because your daughter's only three, three isn't half, she? Yes. It's hard. That's a hard age, yes. isn't it? To find a bit of me yeah, time. Yeah, because even if I go and do a little workout at home, she yeah. wants, she thinks it's a game. So I just try to use her as my weights. <laughs> as the and white. it's, really? Sitting just, on your head and all yeah, sorts, don't I they? incorporate yeah. her into the routine and it works out quite it well. It is yeah. hard. No, it does get easier. Betsy's seven now and I found I've managed to do more for me right. now that she's a bit older because you get herself dressed and do things for herself she's self-sufficient in lots of ways yeah, which yeah. is great so what's your kind of ideal time and ideal maybe night out or or daytime for yourself what do you like to do if you do get some time off i want a lie-in I want a lion. It will come. Will yeah. it will? Yeah, yeah. hang in there. When? I'm that. still waiting for mine. <laughs> Gone are the days lounging around watching box sets. <laughs> Simple things for me. I just like, you know, a bit of quiet Sleep. time. Sleep. <laughs> Walks with the dogs, chill time, relaxation, yeah. quality time with friends and family. Yeah, yeah. Andrew, you mentioned the gym there, but what yeah. about going out? And do you go out with the girls a lot? Do you get a chance to have a bit of social life? I'm not home? a great going outer. I'm a great staying inner. So I would rather have people come around to the house. And my mm. favourite night out involves me wearing my slippers <laughs> so if I can be wearing really comfy yeah. clothes mm. um, making a just something really easy like pasta or something that yeah. everyone can just dive into mm. gallons of wine and lots of gossip sounds for me good. that is a perfect girls night out in sounds yeah. good to I me don't as go well. out I go out in and so like what, what do you like to have in your wardrobe what are your key pieces um, for me I like something that will carry me right the way through like for example if, if I'm working and then relaxing so meeting girls for lunch after after work Some, something like this do you, do you want me to give yeah, you a little, little great. twirl give us a twirl so, i was just about to say this outfit's perfect for that isn't it because it's casual but still really smart smart cash mm -hmm. i like to call this smart cash i mean obviously it's now we're getting into the sort of warmer weather i think is a time to bring in pops of color you've got a few flowers on on your top as yeah, well i love color yeah, there's some really major floral prints out there i think we're seeing it in homewares as, as well as clothes Team it up with either a pair of ripped jeans like you've got, which looks really cool, or a pair of um, white jeans. Don't be put off by the whole white jean thing. These are still jeans. They're and still don't just order as comfortable. Or messy pasta. Just get just get a bigger napkin. Don't yes. ever let the colour of your clothes put off your wine choice. I also <laughs> really like your shoes that you've got oh, on as thank well. You. I love the block heel because they're mirrored, aren't they? They're they really are. Nice. And do you know what's great as well? Is these are comfy. So if you are going to be meeting the girls and you're going to be maybe walking around a little bit, your teetering heels are great from you know car to bar. But if you are going to be walking around a little bit, try and. Make jazz it up. What if you want to wear maybe a dress or something? Have you got something you'd have in mind that would look good? Yeah. Follow me, ladies. <laughs> follow me, follow me. Got a little rail here. This obviously is the dress version of, uh, of the top that I'm wearing. This is an absolute favourite of mine. <gasps> I love this. Is that what material is that? It's it's like stretch denim. Lovely. It's a stretch Very denim. Chic. It's super comfortable for as the weather is turning. So if you if you like getting your arms out, these are a, a 
obviously a beautiful shape. It's got the detailing there with the belt. You can cinch in at the waist, which is always nice. The material, although it's, it's, uh, it's denim effect, it's not actual denim, it's got stretch in it, so it's got a bit of give. But one of the things I really like, talk about multitasking, you can stick a white shirt under here as well, so you get more of a, nice, a, bit of of a dressy layering. look. Yeah, That's yeah. a good idea. And also, it's a good length that you can wear a heel, or you could also wear flats as yes, well with yeah. this skirt, couldn't you? You stretch. know, you could even wear trainers with it, like yeah, your lovely yeah, trainers yes. that you've yeah. got there. Yeah. Good, so there we've got we go. it all going on. I love yeah. that. Would you wear something like this, Alicia, this denim dress? Yeah, I think it's very smart. Um, yeah, I'd probably do it with trainers. I yeah. do everything with trainers. Yeah, everything, everything with trainers. Everything it's all about comfort. But, but I like the fact that you could have your heels in your bag and then if you went out in the evening, you could just throw your heels on. My kind of girl, Day I like night. that. See, I'm the other way around. I go out with my heels and I have my flats in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Swap it round. Now, something that I love that has crossed over now, again, into the summer season is the pyjama set. And I've yes. got this one here. I've had my own. I love this set. I think it looks really stylish and chic. And you can also mix and match. So yes. Denise here. Hello, Denise. The double D. <laughs> um, we've got this lovely pyjama style top. It's loose. It's a lovely light material. I love the colours in it as well. Beautiful, I think it's great. Can and I, can I, can I you can have you? a feel, yes. Do Isn't you know, that it's lovely? Really, really it's soft. Talking Trousers about... as well, because you can mix and match, and it looks really nice with these shoes, the tasseled shoes. So it's, you can wear a really comfortable shoe. So this again, Andrew, is something that you could just wear around the house. If you've got guests coming over, yeah. you're still going to look really smart mm. and really elegant. But actually, mm. you've got your pajamas on. Yes, I yes. know. It's, it's really clever. <laughs> so you can go straight to bed as I well. Know, yeah. <laughs> but also, obviously, this is a time of year people are thinking about what to pack when they're going away. Mm. I would wear that to travel in. So or you would travel in it on holiday. Get yeah. a pair of heels. You see, then it's yeah. not so much packing because it, it, it's multitasking. Yeah, it's perfect. There you go, like straight out the car, much. straight off the plane, and straight out to a bar. <laughs> Fantastic. And then into bed. <laughs> into bed. Thank you so much, Denise. Uh, lovely. Thank you so much. It's great to share those tips there. Now, once you've made time for yourself, it's also important to have quality time at home with all the family. There's nothing better than a bit of al fresco dining. Here's some inspiration for you. It's sometimes easy to forget to put dates in the diary to see extended family. But Spring Bank Holiday is the perfect time to invite family and friends around. And when the weather is good, you can entertain without too much stress by putting on a barbecue or a summer garden party. We've now been joined by Lucy Pavia from Marie Claire to talk alfresco dining. And of course, Andrea and Alicia are still here. You all right, ladies? We're good. Good. So, Lucy, outdoor dining. What do we need to get everything alfresco ready? Well, I would say just keep it as low maintenance as you possibly can. Um, make sure your patio is nice and clear and then just get out there and embrace the weather. So what are we looking at? What are the trends for this season? So I'm going to show you two. First is a Riviera trend. Um, Lots of colour. Loads of colour. And actually, interiors have really been about sort of neutrals for the last couple of years. So it's nice to see the brights coming back. I'm so pleased because yeah. I do like colour. I think it just screams summer. Yeah, especially outside. Yeah. I think you can get away with colours outside that you wouldn't necessarily inside. But anyway, so this is really great. And actually, even though there's lots of different colours here, it all sort of ties in. Yeah, it's nice. a bit of a clash, but it works. Yes, exactly. And also colourful glass, that's another big trend. Yeah, um, and candle holders. And I love yes. this drinks dispenser as well, which is yeah. great. Great, isn't it? So you have basically a drink station, so you don't have to go back and forth to the kitchen. Good idea, and it keeps the team together for it the does. party outside. Do you like a garden party, ladies? Yes. Always. Yeah. Well, so you'd like a drink out. station like this, wouldn't you? That's Great. amazing. Yeah. Really good Are idea. you good hostesses? I think yeah. so. I'm like, yeah. I'm speaking for us here. <laughs> we are. We are. Yeah. You're fantastic. <laughs> and do you like to barbecue? Because barbecues obviously are always big in the summer, aren't yeah. they? So do you like to barbecue or do you get the guys to do it? I mean, I, I I, personally, I like a man to do it. Yeah. 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 I think men meat and fire goes very well. <laughs> meat and fire. And I, I like to do all the accessorising. <laughs> I'm really, um, to be honest, Nick does most of the cooking in my house. Or as I'm really good at accessorising. Yeah. So I might do, I always lay the table. I'm really fussy about that. So when we're outside, I like to make sure everybody's got their drinks and yeah. their nibbles and that while he's doing the hurr. Yeah, it's same for you, Alicia. Is that the same, same with Same, yeah. My little brother is an amazing chef, so we always have him come round and cook for all of us, and I just make sure everybody's drinks are topped yeah. up. And Perfect. Happy. Yeah. Also, I think if you do try and interfere, the guys get the hump, don't they? They, they don't do. want you interfering. They're like, go away, leave me to it. So I just one of those beer back. things. Just, just prop them up, barbecue and a beer cooler. <laughs> we do. Well, this is one of our next trends. So yeah. this look here, talk us through this so one. So it's a monochrome trend, but it's got a real kind of Americana vibe, which is in at the moment. Um, very Hamptons, isn't very it? Very Hamptons, very East Coast of America. Um, I really like these little hot dog. Me too. Hot Have dog you seen holders. These? Look, because they're plastic, so they're reusable. So they're great if you've got kids that is as well. Brilliant. My yeah. kids would love that. Aren't they brilliant? Yeah. 
And actually it's quite good because with these, if you haven't got a table that you can all sit around, you can always just, you know, you can have more guests, basically. Absolutely. And also stands. French fries, chip holder. Look at that. Yeah, I think that's that. good. Very yeah. stylish. The kind of thing you'd get in a really nice yeah, nice diner and you can put it outside. And, of course, we said them, if the men are barbecuing, then they're going to have to have uh, refreshments, aren't exactly. they? Exactly. <laughs> and this is for one man, all the beer. That's just for one he man needs. alone. So that nice cool <laughs> box there. Brilliant. I think we could need a few of them going to a party around the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much, Lucy. You. Now, once you've finished entertaining the whole family, don't forget to put aside some weekends to get away and explore new places. Bank holidays are the perfect time for that. Half term and the spring bank holiday are on the horizon. So how can we make the most of the great outdoors at this time of year? I'm here with Alicia Dixon and Andrew McLean. Now, what's your idea of the perfect weekend away? Oh, just simple things, you know, like walking with the dogs, like maybe going somewhere like Cornwall where the beaches nice. are really beautiful and just relaxing, you know, nothing too adventurous. Yeah, a nice chilling. family holiday, family little break. Time. Yeah. Mini break. What about you, Andrea? Same sort of thing, actually. I think when, when you work uh, in in a job where you have to get dressed up all the time and sometimes yeah. not in the most comfortable of clothes. Yeah. For me, it's really important that on my time off, I can be comfortable with what I'm wearing. So I like to go somewhere where you don't have to necessarily get too Damn. dressed up. Yeah. You can, you know, be very, very casual. Have the There's kids. a bit of a theme yeah. here. Take your slippers. <laughs> <laughs> I sound so dull. Don't I, I don't like getting dressed really up. Dull. Do you know what? I, my idea of a weekend away has changed so much. Like I used to, years ago, I'm sure you had this, I used to love going away with the girls and just going clubbing. Yeah. Packing literally everything so I could yeah. get really dressed up. But now it's all about just being away mm -hmm. and being with Betsy and just hanging out and being with my boyfriend and doing outdoorsy stuff as well. Like I like yeah. walking, I like cycling. Yeah. Being at one with nature. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I also love a city break. So if I am not, haven't got Betsy for the weekend, it's just at her dad's, then mm. I'll go away for the weekend with Eddie. We'll do a city break. But then I do like to dress up a little bit if you haven't got the kids with you then yeah 100 right. i like to push the boat out a little bit and and there will be heels involved yes. and something a little bit slinky um but it, yeah i like a city break as well and i think in terms of even if you live in a city you might never think of going on holiday there no, so true. i've actually had weekends in london even though i work in london yeah Good um, idea. Yeah, Explore what's yeah, around you. Exactly. So this outfit you've got here, Alicia, mm -hmm. is this something you would wear on a weekend? It's smart casual. I would because I just feel really comfortable. But I know if I wanted to go to a nice restaurant, the fact that I have a shirt on, I still feel quite smart. Yeah. I could eat till the cows come home, you know, because <laughs> these jeans are so comfortable. And I just love being in trainers because I just I think if you're out all day and, and in the evening. You like to be comfortable. Just, yeah. And I think the older I get, the more it is just about being comfortable, but yeah. still feeling great in what you yeah, wear. And the yeah. khaki really works, doesn't it, when you're outdoors? Yeah as well with all the greenery around Very you. It's great trend. in photos yeah. when you take a <laughs> selfie. Um, now, if I'm going away for maybe one of my little city breaks, I probably would wear something like I'm wearing now. Yeah. Right. Because I'd wear something maybe a little bit more dressy. Mm. So um, I've got my denim jeans here. These are really nice. They're really I soft. Love them. Have a feel. Because they are just super soft. Yeah, they're, they're stretchy. Gorgeous. And they you look can, like they've got good stretch. They've got actually. good yeah, stretch, yeah. and they're quite high waisted, which I like. Yes. I feel like they hold everything. Here. Yeah. <laughs> and you could travel in them, wear them all day. Then I'd go for a top like this. I do like the off the shoulder for the summer. Yes. It screams of summer to me, and I like the floral design. I think it's really pretty. Really pretty. So I'd happily sit and have my lunch in this or an early yeah. meal, See, evening meal. So that will go morning yeah. through to evening. Yeah, exactly. It? That outfit. It's a great now, outfit. Now, shoe wise, I know you like your trainers, mm. but I'm a big fan of the wedge shoe because I feel comfortable walking around them all day long. So these blue ones here are perfect and my feet won't ache and also yeah. I wear them in the evening as well so yeah. if I go through day to night got my whole outfit sorted yeah. very and good you caught a little bit of color yes yeah. Yeah. <laughs> shoulder yeah absolutely <laughs> now what about your fellas what do they like to wear do they pack light or do they go with more clothes than you <laughs> my my fella doesn't pack light he takes longer to pack than me and he's more meticulous than I am yeah. and he cares more about the outfits that he puts together when we go away um, he's very stylish he tends to give me a lot of advice. Does he? So, and yeah, I don't yeah. mind because he has got really good taste. Good. What about yeah. your fellow Andrew? Exactly the same. I mean, I'd never owned a pair of skinny jeans until I'd met Nick. He literally... He got you into your skinnies? Yeah. Oh, he literally, good. you know, he took me to one side after, you know, a few months and said, babe, you're great. Got to get you out of those jeans. You need to... He, I Show found off out, your assets. That's a really nice way of putting it. Yes. I, I didn't know, this is a thing apparently, that if you are struggling to put your jeans up, that means they fit. I thought that meant they were too no, tight. That's great. Then they give you a nice... No, it's good. You get a good shape. I and they're clean no in the right places. Yeah. I'm glad he got you into skinny. Yeah, he looks yeah. like a lot of fun, your fella. Yeah. I found a picture of you. 
and I've got it here. If you, okay. I don't know where you are here. You, you're not on holiday. Right, you're on a city right, break. Around. Okay. <laughs> You've got face paint on. <laughs> Wait, that was Notting Hill Carnival. Oh, nice. And just last year, actually. And it was really, really good fun. That's what I mean. Sometimes just enjoy the city that, that you're in. Yeah. We had just had that paint powder stuff thrown yes. at us. They were giving away sunglasses. There was glitter. It was awesome. It was Great. really good. So would your fellas wear something like this? I've chosen this outfit Jason's got on today. So looking good, Jason, by the way. Um, so these comfortable shoes, they're like boating shoes, deck shoes, with the denim shorts. Now, the denim shorts are really good length because you don't want to see a guy in denim hot pants, do you? you don't. <laughs> Not our no, fellas. You don't. No, so, my, my partner would definitely yeah. wear something like this. Um, he often does when we're away. Just a simple T-shirt. Really good length on the, the shorts and yeah, yeah, comfy shoes. Do you yes. like this, Andrea? Yeah, Nick's got a pair very similar to that, actually. And uh, I think men need to learn that just getting an old pair of jeans and rolling it up, it's not the same. No. If you want <laughs> denim shorts, buy a pair of nice <laughs> denim yeah, shorts. Yeah, that are ready to go and yeah. look good. And you do look good. You Thank look you like so a shipwreck much, Jason. if you just cut them off. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ladies. I've loved talking summer fashion it's with you. Fun. It's been great. Well, it's been a great show, so thanks again to all my guests. Be sure to tune in next time when I'll be talking health, fitness and confidence with singer, dancer and TV presenter Ashley Roberts. Plus, I'll be picking my top fashion pieces of the season. Until then, it's bye for now.